Hey, so today I wanted to do a quick autofocus test, putting the 5D Mark IV's dual pixel autofocus really to the limits and compare and see if it really is king of the hill when it comes to autofocus. Check it out. All right, so today was a freezing day and we had what's called a kind of like a bomb storm or something in the northeast or it was just kind of a bomb cyclone actually is what they were calling it and it was pretty cold so today of all days i was not going outside i stayed indoors all day i didn't have to call in sick because even the office was like stay home stay safe so today i wanted to see you know what i could do creatively when it comes to these videos and i put my cameras to the test when it comes to autofocus. Um, for a long time, I said, you know, I've always believed that 5D Mark IV really had one of the best autofocus systems, and that's pretty much known everywhere. Everywhere you go, even online, they'll say, can't beat 5D Mark IV's autofocus. But I know, and I've had the NX1 for longer than I've had the 5D Mark IV, and I always thought, man, that autofocus on that camera is stellar. And I put it to the test in a previous video, uh, really light, I, in kind of a low light conditions, but now I've got a controlled studio and I wanted to try again to see dual pixel autofocus versus NX1's autofocus. See what I get. I'm going to show you the settings that I had on the 5D Mark IV and the NX1 right here because both of them had pretty basic settings. Both were set on um, continuous autofocus and face detection and uh, when it comes to the footage, I just did come like pop up, pop in, pop out, and back up from the camera, go forward to the camera, and then of course put something in between my face and you guys to see if like it's picking up my hands or is it picking up me or if it's picking up an object that I'm holding up. What what stays in focus? Will it switch fast enough? Will it will it stay on the subject that I want it to stay on? What do I get? And my results are as follows. When it comes to switching and picking up what's directly in front of it, I must say the NX1 did a much better job. It picked it up really quick based on the settings that I had and just was able to follow whatever is in the center of the camera, despite the fact that it was uh, face detect autofocus. Now, I will say that the 5D Mark IV performed better when it com came to recognizing a face and staying on that face. So once it picked up my face, no matter what I put in front of it, it knew that it's me that it has to pay attention to. And unless I completely blocked my face, it was gonna stay on me. And that's that's pretty much what it was gonna do. So if I completely blocked my face, the focus moved away. But if, if I didn't, then it stayed really on me. Whereas the NX1 really stayed mostly focus on what was in the center despite the fact that i had face detect but the fact that it could pick up what was in front of it and lock on focus really quick uh was amazing um personally if i'm going to do um my results are as follows if i'm going to do a vloggity style thing or if i'm in front of a camera and i definitely wanted to pick up on my face and nothing else I'm going to definitely go for the 5D Mark IV. It just does a lot better job of staying on me and nothing else. However, at the end of the day, based off of this test alone, and there's plenty of tests in different settings that you put on the camera, based on the current settings that I have, if I want quick and precise autofocus and to get something tack sharp on the first try without hunting, the NX1 did an amazing job, and actually, in a well-lit condition, NX1 outperformed the 5D Mark IV, based off of the footage you can see. In low-light conditions, I will say that the 5D Mark IV definitely outperforms the NX1. NX1 um, tends to hunt a bit more than, than the 5D Mark IV's dual pixel autofocus. So is it a contender? Under well-lit conditions? Heck yeah. Well-lit conditions? I'm going to reach for the NX1 first and use that. Um, harder lit conditions, or if I need to focus on my face, I'm going to choose the 5D Mark IV. So, what do you guys think based off of the footage that I got? And let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, 
those are just my thoughts um, when it comes to this type of log to this type of log I also do trust the NX one most of the time too especially if I have to show you something in front of the camera as you can see it takes a little bit for my 5d mark 4 to f find my hands and that's because I blocked my face but if I put my hand in front of the lens but keep my face here it's not gonna move but the uh, NX one would actually pick up on my hand if I wanted it to if I was like this like if I move to the side, right, I'm off to the side and I have my hand in the middle, NX1 would pick up my hand, 5D Mark IV stays on my face. So depending on, on the shoot and what I want to do, this might work for me or focusing on my hand might work better for me. Whatever. As always, like, share, and you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus and I'm out. Hit that uh, little bell icon if you do subscribe too, so you can keep um, getting notified on my future videos as well. Happy New Year, guys, again, and thank you for watching. Take care.